it's been raining and raining and raining. But the sun is coming out. Look. We're headed to Buckrow Beach for a spin. Buckrow Beach is just on the other side of the Hampton. Just the other side, west side of the tunnel. It's an old amusement park. Buckrow Beach. It's a roller coaster and all kinds of things. Some Ferris wheel had everything. We hunt there some. I don't hunt that much because there's some distance to go, but it's right on the bay. Gigmaster hunts there a lot. The team, uh, Jim and uh, I can't think of his wife's name, Coils to the Soil, they hunt there quite a bit. It's been a productive place in the, over the years, especially in the water deep. I'm not going in the water deep today. I just got shoes on. I'm going to hunt the beach in the edge, low tide. I have with them, my friend from New York. His uh, daughter lives over at Hampton. We hunted together a couple years ago. Stand by. Says I got about 10 minutes to go. I'm on Pembroke Avenue now. I got to turn on Old Buck Row Road. I think my fellow's name, if I can remember correctly, is Gary. Gary Street sticks in my mind. But it's been a while. Stand by, we'll be closer in a minute. There goes Gary. Right? See that bag? He's going to go get him some beach sand and carry it back to New York with him. It's a nice day. It's supposed to be in the mid 50s today. We'll see how it goes. Tide ought to be pretty good and low. BCI? B3I. B3I, okay. Spectrum B3I. Yeah, yeah, I know what it is. I don't know much about it, but I've seen some of them. The top of the line machines, yeah. multi frequency, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. I, 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 different programs so I can put on the beach program. How these machines are going to work with one another, whether they interfere with one another or not. I know. The Excalibur and the mine equal like hate each other. I mean, we can't even get close. I can hear the Excalibur. Damn, 200 feet away sometimes. No, I'm talking to the camera. <laughs> Tides off good. I figured it would be. We got that part down right today, the tide. It's about uh, 1030, I guess. 1045, maybe. Stand by. Oh. False alarm. Well, we got our first target. It's a nine. Well, we got to be careful. We can't get to it. It's right here on the edge of the waves. I get my feet wet. Whoa, baby! Not that hole. Whoa, baby! Stand by a minute. It's a nine. We got it out anyway. A fifteen. I don't think I like it. A more crap out. I 
I got a nine here. Somewhere. Looks like junk to me. Junk. Moved over. That's where we were over there. And the Gary's hunting up high. You can quite see him. He's up there, just straight ahead of where I am now, but up near the edge. A lot of shells, a lot of rocks. Not the kind, not the kind of rocks I like, but. A lot. Might not like four. Let's see what it is. Wasn't very deep. Don't see anything in the scoop. Must be still in there. That's what I thought. A crapo. We used to hunt this beach a lot in the late 90s and into the early 2000s. But then they closed the beach for, I think they closed it for four or five years. I don't remember. I know it was closed a long time. They found so much. Uh, explosive ordinance here that they closed it and cleaned it all up and then we had to go to a class to get our permit showed us what kind of stuff we might find and I guess we've been happy ever since but it's closed for a long time but detected Buck Row Beach check it out on Google it's old Lots of nice places here in this day. Okay, I'll get back to you. Solid 12. A little scratchy now. Scratchy earth. In this hole, again. If it don't go back in the sea, we get ready to find it. Back of a tag, you know, a metal like a metal you would wear on your chest. You've seen them before. It's hard to find here. Got a 19 here. It 
It's jumped up to 22 now. I don't know if I like that or not. Come out of there, Tequito. Solid 19 out there. A coin, the first coin of the day. It's probably a penny. Shaped like a penny, looks like a penny. It is a cruddy penny. Man, well, a hot goose. Get coin sounds, a 22. Probably another penny. It's a 15 out of the ground. I don't know if that's too exciting or not. I don't see no pennies. I don't see anything. There it is, whatever it is, it jumped out. Not big, it just jumped out. Black. Looks like a handle or something, fishing reel handle. Yep, that's what it is. Somebody lost their handle. Well, there's Gary. Let's see how he's making out. I hope you do it better than me. Not that this place has been replenished with sand. Yeah, that would have long, but it's been a long time ago. Ah, uh, of course. earring back. One penny, finally. I got two pennies. I tried with the bottom of the I found two pennies at the bottom of the That's about it. I don't know. It's pretty floating. It's pretty floating. There's no cuts or nothing. No. But I'm not getting any hits at all. You know? Yeah, I know. And uh, you know we should you should be finding I'd say the, these bottle caps or pull tabs or something. Yeah, like I haven't dug no bottle caps, no pull tabs either. No, I got plenty of little pieces of aluminum and junk, but no uh, nothing of any size. Aluminum. Yeah, I got some about that. One penny, the other penny. That's my big finds. Yeah, well, I too. <laughs> and the earring back. Eyeball found. Just land on the sand. Just covered by the sand. Roundup. Best of it. Jack, where are you going? Mm -hmm. go for walk. Jack's going for a walk with his buddies. Jack's not very friendly. He's an unfriendly Jack when he's walking with other dogs. Well, it appears I should have turned left instead of right today. But Beaver went to the land of Nana. Kind of Kind of a weird looking 10K. I think he said it really light. Three point four grams. I can't tell what it is. Like I don't I don't know what it's supposed to be. Ring it a scoop. Yellow. I like it. 